Hello friends, I have summoned you all here to Archibald to tell you a tale of woe. It is a tale of book woe. Ah, oh, guys, it's been a nightmare. Let me tell you really quickly because it's a very long story, but I'm going to try and get through it as quick as I can, just because I feel like, just because I need to rant about it. So. As I was saying in, I don't remember which video, but this month has been my 11 book month, uh, and I started off really well. I have I had some bigger books that I wanted to try and get through at the beginning of the month that I did really well with. I read four four of those in seven days, and I was really pleased with that. I was like, I'm off to a really good start, and then I started on my fifth one, which was Emma, which for some reason I've really struggled with getting through. It's taken me 10 days, which is really awful. So I was reading through and I thought if I get through some of my big ones, that's good. And then I order some of the Shakespeare books that I love to finish off the month, right? So I went on to the QBD website and they had seven of the Shakespeare books that I didn't have. I was like, this is awesome, I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna read them. And then if I had have read, so at that point I'd read four, I thought I'd get my seven, I'll read them in seven days at most, because they're tiny. And then my book quota will be done, and then I'll have like over half the month to one, gain back what I didn't read last month, because I only read two of my five, and maybe get ahead on next month, right? So I was really excited. So I ordered them, they took a long time to come, which was frustrating. But then, guys, my order finally came. I was so excited. Can you imagine? I was so excited. I love getting packages. And these were books that I was excited to read. And they're beautiful. And I was ready. The packaging, right? It was like this really thin, flimsy piece of cardboard that was open on two ends. So it was just like a, a strip, right, that was attached. And then slotted into that was another bit of cardboard that didn't join, it just went whoop, it stopped there and that was just slipped in to this other open box and then there was a really loose bit of plastic that went around the whole package so I could see my books, right? Twist got it from the door and handed it to me and I was like this can't be my package because they wouldn't put books in this and then I looked at the side and I could see my books just like sloshing around. They were just like slipping and sliding, smacking into each other. But like when you moved, they were just like slipping everywhere. And this was open, right? So, and I'd given permission for them to be left on my doorstep. What if it had rained? This, I'm so annoyed about this. I think I don't normally get super angry about things because I understand mistakes happen. But how could you have gotten the packaging that wrong? For books as well, like books, you don't you you don't put anything in an open package, let alone books. So I got my books out, right? I was like, that's really weird. I wonder why the packaging's like that. That's alright. I'll overlook it. No, I won't, because all of my seven books were damaged. Not even slightly damaged. Like corners were bent back. The bottom, all the pages were like they were like the front bits were scratched, there were bits off the spine, like, that have been ripped off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was really frustrated. And so, mum said, uh, cause she goes past the plaza on her way back from work, she was like, I'll take it all in and show the people in the store. Um, even though it's not their fault, my idea was, I do not want to get them delivered here again in case that happens. Um, so maybe we get them to do it through the store because the Shakespeare books that I bought from there initially were perfect. They did not have a scratch on them. I was like, maybe if the store orders them in, they'll come well. <laughs> they'll come in nicely. So mum took them in and they were like, yeah, this is dodgy. Um, we will take these back and order yours in. Cool. At this point, my entire, my month is slowly slipping away. 
homework, about my reading, as I'm putting off Emma every second of every day. So I waited, 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 took a while again, and then they called yesterday to say, hey, your books have come in. They're pretty good, but they're a little bit damaged. No way. Take them the back. I do not want your damaged books. <laughs> Take them back. And apparently, because they called mum because she had gone into the store, apparently they come like that from the supplier. But, like, people, if I was running a store and I ordered books in and they came like that, send them back. Like, how is that? I don't understand how that's good enough. Like, how you would want your, uh, what? <laughs> Apparently, now they're going to get in contact with the supplier. Um, so here I am, on the 20th of June, <laughs> five books in, waiting for my books to come, because <laughs> I have ten days to read six books. Guys, six books. 10 days, not easy. Unless you have tiny Shakespeare books to read. So I'm freaking out, but also I'm just annoyed. There's not much that makes me genuinely complain. Like genuinely, like I'll jokingly be like, ah, it's so frustrating, but I'll never be like, this is stupid. Why has this happened? <gasps> that is my life story at the moment. I just basically spent all day in Archibald feeling sorry for myself. <laughs> oh, I'm such a hard life. <laughs> Sitting here waiting for books to go. So I'm thinking I might have to, have to. <laughs> I might pop up to Megalong Books because they, you know, they've never let me down. Let me see. When will this go up? This will go up on the 25th. So hopefully I will have gone reading done but maybe not guys <laughs> Who knows? I thought I would be done I thought I would be done with my 11 by like the 15 I was supposed to be done now it's the 20th and I still have six books to read uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do guys <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm gonna like go cry or something. Hey guys, um, I can't really pick what it is, but there's something on my desk that's really messing with the chic vibes. Any, any clue? I just can't pick it. Any idea? No, me either. Good lord. <laughs> well, this is a look. I just thought, oh hi by the way, <laughs> I just thought I would give a brief update on how I'm going with learning. This is probably going to be a really talky vlog, apologies. I mean they all are really aren't they? But I mean, it's my video. <laughs> you clicked on it, not my fault. I've been doing okay, not like 
I've been doing a lot better than I've ever done, basically. And you're gonna be like, wow, what have you been doing, Jenny? Oh my goodness, so proud. And then I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing and you're gonna be like, well now we see why you've got nowhere in life. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun and games, isn't it? So I haven't been doing well in all my areas, but something that I have been doing well that I'm particularly pleased with is I'm still going with my French. And I didn't know if I'd be able to keep going, which uh, says a lot about how I've gone with things previously, but I'm doing really well. I've been doing it every night since I started talking about it. I've missed a few, but like I would say like three nights at most since I said I was going to be starting. That's all I've missed, um, which I'm really pleased with. I haven't made as much progress as I should have because I like really take basics seriously um, and for a while I think I spent too long on basics and wasn't confident that I'd be able to move on very far but I can understand a lot better than I thought I could which is a really nice feeling. I just love it. Seriously, if you're not on Duolingo, you should be. And if you get it, we should totally be friends because it really helps to have people score that you want to beat. <laughs> I've discovered. <laughs> so that's what's been happening with that, and I'm really pleased with it. I'm like excited to do it. Um, I think it'll be less excited as it gets harder, but it's really nice to be understanding everything so far and I'm very pleased with it so big ups to Jay is that a thing people say the other thing that I wanted to talk about was my maths I don't know why I was finding it really hard to get into I think like obviously I just need to be disciplined and I think as I feel more confident in basically just what I can do you know what I can make myself do then I will get better at just cracking on, but because I'm just starting and I have absolutely zero faith in what I can do, um, it, you know, to see a huge math textbook waiting and push myself to go and open that and see what I'm not good at, oh, it's been really difficult and I was struggling with it. And then the other day, my dearest mother, the dear soul of my life. Basically, I always go into Dimmix and look at Excel books, but they're super expensive. So I never buy any. But mum, because she's just like an absolute delight, um, she obviously noticed that I hadn't been doing much maths. So she got me a few Excel workbooks, which is so, so kind. A while ago, this would have embarrassed me to show what I'm working on, but I don't think there is anything embarrassing about wanting to learn things that you don't know. No matter what level it is, you have to start somewhere and that is not embarrassing. Yeah, as I said, year seven is where I'm starting. So, and a lot of this obviously is just like revision, like making sure I can do it, making sure I have my strong base, my strong, solid maths base. Um, so she got me whole numbers, decimals, percentages, and fractions. Ow, I started it the other day. So we'll see how I go. I will update you on how I'm going, if I'm struggling with anything. We'll see how I go. Who knows? I might suck. Might be great. That's the fun. Step by step algebra one workbook, which will be super exciting to do. I do not remember any of this, so <laughs> how's that? <laughs> she also got me problem solving workbook, which I think would be really helpful. I remember in tests at school, that was something that I really, I think really <laughs> let me down, was like problem solving and longer answer questions. I don't know, I think I just, it was like, oh my God, this is a huge question. And then I freak out and then fail math. 
I'm really excited to do them, which is a good thing. <laughs> it's not as daunting as a huge textbook, because look at them, they're tiny. They're tiny. Obviously, finishing a whole textbook would be a huge achievement, but I think initially, small achievements are going to be helpful. I'm gonna work my little booty off to get these done. And hopefully it makes sense. And if it doesn't, I'll be like, Dad! <laughs> I'm still feeling good. I think, I think it's, it's, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I'm doing good. Pretty cool thing, isn't it? To be able to learn, to have the resources to learn. Aren't we darn? Loop and lucky.